Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Now, it's currently 20 past five in the morning, and I'm about to go up the old man of Coniston. Um, funny story, I actually was here just over 24 hours ago. Uh, set off, everything looked great, started filming, recorded an introduction, uh, took a few shots, and then the mist rolled in, and everything looked like this. Horrendous visibility, literally couldn't see anything. Uh, so yeah, so still did the walk, did about seven and a half miles. I'll put the route on screen now. Um, but yeah, so I decided that I'd come back and do it again today. Uh, I'm not going to do the full walk again. I'm just going to basically go up just past low water. I might go back up to the peak, but it's. I'm just looking. I'm literally looking at the ridge line now, and it looks really clear. The forecast is for really good visibility, so hopefully it will be. And I'm shooting today on a Ricoh KR5. Uh, this is actually not my camera. It's actually a client of mine's, but there will be another video about this camera coming really soon. And I've got a roll of expired code of color 200 from 2005 in there that I'm rating at ISO 100 because obviously it's um, it's almost 20 years, almost 20 years expired. So without any further ado, I'm going to head out. It's uh, like I say, it's coming up to half five. So it, the sun is just about starting to make its way through its blue hour. So I'm going to head up and, uh, and yeah, hopefully I'll, we'll get some pictures this time. That's where we're going. The visibility is looking good, it's looking promising. Also, it's nowhere near as light as this video makes out. It's still like 20 to six. And there's the sun coming up. So you've got Coniston water just here. And then just underneath the sun there, you might just be able to see the reflection. That is the very top of Lake Windermere. And we're probably about two thirds of the way up now. So I'll spin round, walk round here. We're almost up to low water. Not much more to go. So we're now up at low water. So all my is just behind me. Just stopped to have a little coffee and I'm gonna take some pictures by water. I've not seen a single soul on the way up here. Probably because it's bank holiday Monday morning. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get a few pictures here. Um, what I do need to do is I do need to check the box because I don't actually know how many exposures I've got, whether it's 24 or 36. I think it's 24, but I need to check because I don't want to run out if there's still things I want to shoot. I am going to be shooting some uh, kind of backup images on my Fuji X100V as well, but they're pretty much just backup images just in case anything goes wrong with the roll. But yeah, I'm going to have a coffee and take some pictures. I mean, just look at this now, the sun's on it. I can't even explain the difference between today and yesterday. Absolutely stunning.
Yeah, guys, this is special. That is some view. I'm armed up. And I could just spend an hour here, but I do need to be quite quick because we're away with Hannah and her mum and dad for her mum's birthday. And basically I've snuck out this morning. I need to get back soon, so I'm gonna get straight on. We're taking some pictures. But yeah, one more look. Look at this. So I had to stop here on the way down. This is part of the old slate mine. No prizes for guessing why they did slate mine in here. But yeah, there's loads of the old, uh, old building left over. Some of the rail tracks and cabling, even the old uh, office. So I stepped through here. As you can see, this is the old office. And yeah, it's actually classed as an archaeological site. So there's loads of it still here. There was a pile on a little bit further up that you'll have seen pictures of. But yeah, it's, it's definitely something I'd check out if you came. So, all done now, just walking back to the car, having some coffee. Kind of an old man behind me, finished my roll of film. So yeah, hopefully you'll have seen plenty of nice film shots. It's been really nice using the Rico. Um, basically, I've got a shoot with it coming up next week, so I just wanted to kind of get acclimatized to using it obviously most film cameras work in a similar way but with slight differences one thing that i do love about the rico is the uh, the light meter so i'll put a little clip on the screen now but basically how it works is there's a needle and a hoop and changing the shutter speed or the aperture moves the hoop and then the amount of light coming into the through the lens affects where the needle goes and basically you just need to get the needle through the loop or as close to it as possible um it's not a feature on any other film camera that i've ever used before but i like it it's super quick super responsive i have shot a roll of film on this camera already and it seems to be pretty accurate um so yeah it's really really quite cool but other than that guys thank you so much for coming with me today i am definitely definitely a bit short of breath on my way back now doing uh, doing this twice in the space of 24 hours definitely takes it out of you especially when you're as unfit as i am but i'm really really glad that i did it the weather was incredible glad that i got up again this morning got out early and uh, and yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you watched this far as always i'll see you in the next video cheers <laughs>